Hey everyone, it's Rad, and I want to thank Keen for they are the sponsor of this video. And don't skip ahead, for I do have a special and exciting announcement to uh, make, including a very, very special gift for anyone who is watching, which I will get to it a uh, soon. For those who doesn't know Keen, this amazing website provides you with an access to a vetted psychics, spiritual advisors who can provide a guidance and insight in into life's challenges, into clarity in love, into relationships, and as well into career and, and many, many more. And Keen, it is a one of the most uh, affordable way to get an instant psychic reading with a professional at any time, 24 seven. What I love about Keen is that it is perfect for anyone who wants to talk with someone right away, anytime, anywhere there is no wait and it is excellent if you do have a burning question that literally needs an answer right now and it is double perfect for if you are on a budget too and here is where my gift for you guys is coming in for anybody who wants to talk with advisor on keen just click my link in the description down below and you get a 10 minutes for just only two dollars and just see for yourself for i do support keen and i have been around the block a lot when it comes to um psychics readers and especially prophets and i can tell you that there are those who are false but uh judging by the way keen found me i can tell you that they are venting they are uh advisors uh, very carefully and you i do encourage you to try it out especially if you do have questions that i cannot answer like for example about health like for example about a reallocation because tarot is just not designed for that uh, for example as well yes or no questions as well guys it's only two dollars for 10 minutes and i cannot think of a better way to try it out and uh, get the clarity you seek for there are a uh, tarot readers, psychic readers, uh, love and relationship advisors, and as well spiritual advisors there. Uh, and you can take your time to make a selection of the reader of your choice, establish a bond, which is going to establish as well a goal, be it a uh, intention setting, be it a, a chakra clearing, be it healing, manifesting, and many, many more. And what is also amazing there is that Keen provides every customer of theirs with a monthly discount, which is a um, clearly a way to show you that they do appreciate you being there and it also provides you with a way to afford multiple readings should you need so the signing up process very simple i'm gonna show you how all that you have to do is just watch my screen very few simple clicks for their website it is made intuitively and it's just you cannot get it wrong and just in these few simple clicks you are get yourself ready to make your selection of uh, readers and dive into your spiritual journey right away so to use my gift just click in the link in the description box and get your 10 minutes with a keen advisor of your choosing for just only two us dollars and and see for yourself how amazing they really are with the variety of their uh, advisors and as well the prices which have a ton of variety too should you be on a budget thank you keen for sponsoring this video all right everyone so this is going to be your uh, aries reading and uh, if you do enjoy the content in the channel uh, subscribe hit the notification bell so you do not miss uh, any of uh, the, the uploads and as well the live streams that are going on on the channel itself so with that said uh, let's see what kind of a month of april uh, you aries are going to experience uh, the first one that we do have for you that is to be the two of uh, the two of swords uh, the second card for you aries it does look like that is going to be the seven of uh, swords here followed by the uh, third card third prime card of your spread that happens to be the page of cups and just from these cards it does look like that um, throughout the month there is going to be really peaceful transition that you are going to move toward and uh, 
how can I place it into uh, into words? Uh, that transition, it's not going to require from you, it's not going to require any predisposition from your behalf to do things that you find either selfish or that you do find as well either a forceful that you necessarily have to do in order that transition to take place and the final card for you that happens to be the uh, two of wands here <clears throat> so the final the the end of the transit it really looks uh, really really good for you the end of the month it, that, that this card only tells us that you will make a significant progress and you will be happy with some quite a good accomplishments uh let's uh, now draw the additional cards uh, for each uh for each position eight of wands is the first one then we do have the eight of pentacles uh here what we have it is uh, the temperance and uh, the final one which is going to stand on the two of wands that is going to be the seven of cups and things are getting really really better so <clears throat> let's talk about the month first that we do have this is the topic here two of uh, swords with the eight of wands so the topic of the month it is uh, by definition a very peaceful month and that is not going to be because you are not going to have anything to do in fact with these two cards you are going to have a many options available in front of you Many things for you to undertake, many people to, to go out with, for example, many tasks to go into as well, and in generally opportunities if that is what you are craving for, opportunities to date, you know, opportunities to start a job if that's what you are looking for as well. But because the two of swords it is the prime card, and uh, here I'm not going to dive into it. If you are interested into the elemental dignities, there is a course uh, that I am offering to, to teach you how to do it. But with these two, they really push the, the, uh, the team that you are not going to feel like oppressed to take an option and sacrifice another one for the favor of the option you take so in other words you will have the luxury to try a little from everything to to decide which one you want to go for which option you want to go for which person you want to go for as well <clears throat> and uh, such a state such a peaceful month uh aries will allow you as well to make a many uh, uh, decisions which are going to work in your favor at the end of the day here with uh, with these two cards uh, and uh, above everything else what i love about these two cards it is that they are mitigating the risk out of your mind to utter maximum meaning that there will be almost no risky moves that you are to take well there could be but you are going to mitigate the risk factor from them to its uh, to its minimum so to speak if not extinguishing that risk factor a uh, straight away uh, from these two cards guys uh, as a topic you are also about to find some very important solutions to uh, uh, problems that you may have or to a situations that you are uh, finding yourself into a mm, dead dead end so to speak that you don't know what to do neither of the option kind of like looks an option that is going to serve any purpose or is going to allow you to push forward and in this month th with these two cards through the method of elimination okay uh, uh the, the the right option available that is going to serve the best purpose for you is going to become pretty much obvious is going to become uh, the only option that kind of makes sense and um <clears throat> By the look of these two cards that we uh, th that we have at that stage, because this one it is what uh, holds you back. This one here it is what allows you to move forward faster than you can, or rather, like it helps you. Uh, we can see that you don't have to put much of a work. The work is going to be more like a quality work into your relationships or into your business deals, rather than a a quantity work where you have to do really a lot uh, and uh, how can I put it into words um, devout, de de devout your time into a one specific task 
On the contrary, you can save, spread your time among a few people or among a few tasks and people so you can be at all places at all time and just get the maximum out of all of these places and all of that time. What truly, let's talk about what truly can hold you back, okay? So with these two cards, what can truly hold you back? It is if you, uh, how can I put it into words? If you adopt the standpoint that you can do better alone, uh, that's uh, not exactly how the month is going to play out. This month is very social month, although a, uh, a, a very peaceful one. And it's a social because according to these two cards here, uh, Seven of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles, you can uh, have a lot of, uh, and I don't know how to put it into words, interest from the agenda of others as they are going to have interest from your agenda so together you are building up each one's agenda but in the same time you're profiting from each uh, from each other's agenda uh, i can give you an example but i'm not going to dive into it let's say that uh, the, you can get benefit from from uh, the people around you from your colleagues for example and from your friends as they can get benefit from you and the beauty of it is that neither of these benefits is going to be a deprivation so you're not going to feel like um <clears throat> you are wasting any resources by working together with somebody and working that quote in quotes by doing a thing with somebody together okay that that, that is not going to be a um <clears throat> that's not that's not going to be a thing in fact you are going to feel very very productive and here i'm explaining how you can overcome these cards because otherwise the other version it is if you do exactly what they say which is what holds you back and that is to think first and foremost for yourself and take no participation into any cumulative activities whatsoever. Alone this month, it doesn't look like that you will be able to accomplish a lot. So so uh, team projects, okay, uh, going out with people is going to produce more happiness than spending time alone, okay. Working in team is going to produce better results for your career than trying to force it forward alone, at least for throughout this month. Aries and uh, <clears throat> by the fact that we do have the eight of pentacles here it, it truly looks like that uh, it's if you do it alone it's just there are going to be things you are missing okay things you are missing in the project things you are missing into your environment as well and it's just the, you you're not going to have that objective sight from somebody else to tell you what those things are and therefore you are going to move forward with uh how can i put it into words not having a full understanding of the minor details of the situation and uh, then it is what helps you throughout the month we do have most likely an individual here a person this is a monthly reading so aside from that that could be a person who uh, it's kind of quite interesting because with these two cards that person does not understand you completely what i mean is that they see you and they see that you are for example happy they see that you are for example uh, unhappy whatever the case and they just don't understand why that's the case only thing that they know it is that they do have an affinity toward you either they love you or they like you or you know they they kind of like have a thing for you and they want to be a part of your life problem it is that they don't know how exactly to fit in however as it this is what can help you it is that through the interaction with this person whether it's a colleague or a lover or a friend uh, you are to see that there is a much brighter future in the future so to speak and even if here what holds you back you allow it to settle in into your life so you are a, li a little bit more personal or rather like solo into your development with the page of cups that individual is going to maintain your um your mindset into that alone you cannot do it all by yourself and, and that way it is just that will predispose you to seek benefit from other people or from the resources of a other people but on its own these cards here are speaking that uh, there is a some kind of a change that it is looming on the horizon you are going to be pretty aware of where that change is going to happen okay you're going to be pretty aware how it's going to happen and also you are going to be pretty aware that you can't do much about it only thing you can 
can do to face that change, whether it is a new job or a new project, you know, or a new person to date with, whatever it is. It is how well you can position yourself according to it. So it, what will benefit you greatly here, it is that if you do change certain aspects of your behavior and of your life that does not serve any purpose or other like they work to detriment to the looming change on the horizon and uh, once that change takes place you are to see yourself having a tangible results that that is what these two cards here are speaking okay you uh, this is the trend of the month you have taken all of the right choices with the two of swords okay not just only for yourself but for the collective here and that allowed you to to uh, to make the most out of the change which is looming on the horizon in these two cards as they said they only say tangible results accomplishments that you will see very uplifting results that you will see very beneficial results that you can expand on them even a further okay you, you can make them even more beneficial than they are at that point so the month is going to be great the only thing that i can uh, warn you here from these cards guys don't be selfish don't be forceful as well whenever you have to force something just remember that with time the right decision the right option will become obvious to you and so with that said this was your uh monthly tarot reading for april 2022nd uh, hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and we are to see each other next time until then bye